Do you believe that we send all of our water to California? Or that casinos and resorts use an outsized portion of our water resources? Well, we are here today to talk to you about several myths related to water use in Southern Nevada. We want to set the record straight and give you the facts. It's time to tap the truth. Hi, I'm Colby Pellegrino, Deputy General Manager of Resources for the Southern Nevada Water Authority. And our topic for this edition of Tap the Truth is, the Strip uses way too much water, especially those Bellagio fountains. So there's something you have to know about the way water works in Southern Nevada. All of our water that hits a drain is treated in return to Lake Mead. So any of the indoor water use within those strip resorts, all the toilet flushing, all the showers, all the restaurant water use is actually being returned to Lake Mead and doesn't affect our water resource portfolio. As for the outdoor water use, if you actually take an aerial view of the strip, there's very little outdoor water use. While those fountains and those pools seem gigantic when you're standing next to them, Overall, they represent a very small portion of the square footage of the properties that they're on. And those properties are the economic engine for Southern Nevada. Our resort sector as a whole uses about 7% of our water resources annually, most of which again is being recycled and returned to Lake Mead. So the Bellagio fountains are iconic. Everyone who visits the Las Vegas Strip goes to see them. So they are there motivating a very huge portion of our economy. Now, would we let that happen today? Probably not. And there's actually some code in place to ensure that some of the things in the past don't continue. But I'll leave you with one other tidbit, and that is that the Bellagio Fountains actually don't even use Colorado River water. They use nuisance groundwater that has to be pumped out of the ground, uh, which occurs at many of our strip resorts. And that's how we tap the truth. For more information about the most popular water myths in the valley and the real truth about them, find us on YouTube by searching Southern Nevada Water Authority.